Hi, my name is Evelyn Amailuk, and this is my husband, Andrew. Um, we are from Uganda, Africa. Being new in the country, not having so much experience or a credit, the Lord has been so faithful, and I must say now we can smile and thank Him for His grace and favor and all the provision. We, we had the privilege of meeting some wonderful, down-to-earth Christians who have just shared with us the love of God and helped us feel at home, though it's been quite a long time since we've been at home. Um, I started doing the trust prayers a little bit. You know, some days I would do better than other days. And I've been starting to read um, in Genesis, and a lot of things made sense. It was as if the Holy Spirit was just telling me the translation in a way that someone of my generation could understand. And it was making sense in new ways that I couldn't have thought of myself. It was revealed to me. God is making amazing things happen in my life. The strongest super typhoon that hit land, unfortunately it hit also. The very place that my family is located at, um, the city of Tacloban, Philippines. The typhoon took away thousands of lives, at least 6,000, and destroyed 90% of the homes in our town. But during those four days, we just prayed and prayed for God to intervene to save our families there. And so when we prayed, we believed, no question about it. Without a doubt, we know that they, all of them are alive. Because and, and they were. We stopped looking at the TV. And the good news was each and every one of them was safe from my side of my family and also his side. Even in the strongest of the storms, we should not forget that it is the Lord that is greater than the storm. The phrase in Psalm 46 that says, be still and know that I, that I am God is really true and that nothing happens without God. Everything is under control and everything is answered if you pray and believe. In my 20s, I was laying on my back in a rented house in Jamaica. I was in the Peace Corps, and I asked God to come into my life. I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew that I had fathered a child out of wedlock. I was the son of an alcoholic, well on my way to alcoholism and drug addiction. I had gone from an A average to flunking out of college. My life was in the trash, and I asked God to change it. Jesus changed every one of those aspects. Forty years later, I stand here today as the husband of a godly wife, the father of three godly children. The blood of Christ has cleansed me from so many things. If there's one word about salvation for me, it's gratitude. Jesus is real, the word of God is real in every aspect of it. Please believe it.